Hello, welcome back to the channel. So, a year ago on the channel, over a year ago, as a matter of fact, in May, I uploaded my most popular video, which was entitled How to Fix uh, Controller Issues with the PCS X2, which is a PlayStation 2 emulator, which is uh, pretty difficult to optimize, I'd say. I definitely had trouble with it at first. And uh, in the video, I don't know why I thought it was such a good idea to keep repeating that, because it gets super repetitive and super annoying. If you haven't watched that, go ahead and uh, watch it in the description and you'll see what I mean. I kept connecting the controller and changing the input, but I had I did something else in the future and it pretty much stopped controller issues entirely. Now, I'm going to say it just like, I don't remember if I said it in that video, but I believe I did. This is just something that works for me. So make sure to give it a shot because I think this does work a lot better than just getting it from the website. So as you can see here on Google, we have automated PCSX2 builds. I normally just look up custom PCSX2 builds. Okay. And you know, what pops up pops up and you're normally going to get a website like this. Um, now if I'm correct, these are like 32 bits and stuff like that. But somewhere on the website, there should be like 64 bits. Um, because that's, I don't remember how long ago I got it. But I know what I got was a PCSX. Um, 64 bits. If I can even type today. I just woke up so I'm really tired. Automated build. Okay. And when you look that up, a lot of this is going to pop up. Uh, let's see here. Nope, that's the forms for the PCSX2. We don't want that. Automated PCSX2 builds. Huh. Maybe the one I got was a 32-bit. That's weird. But, either way, it still worked fine on my computer. So I downloaded one of those, and, uh, what I got was this PlayStation 2 re, uh, thing here. And, uh, this is what it looks like. It's not like when you install onto your computer. You simply just get the files. And this is what it looks like. PCSX2. And every time I've opened it, I've never had a controller issue. Just, like, make sure that everything's set up to your liking. And I've never had a problem. My controller's never not worked whenever I had this automated build. Everything pretty much worked perfectly. Uh, if I can find my fucking controller here, I'll give you guys a prime example here with my Xbox controller. So I'm going to open up my game. I've been playing a lot of Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. If you want to know about that, feel free to check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to keep it in windowed for now because I don't want the possibility of making the video lag out too much. I'm having a very difficult time. Um, optimizing OBS to where it records things smoothly, which kind of sucks, so it's not going to run smoothly. I don't think so, anyway. So we just got to wait for this to load. I'm going to show my controller. As you can see, I didn't do anything. I didn't go to the settings. I didn't modify anything for my controller. My controller just works automatically. Meaning... Ever since I got this automated build, everything worked perfectly for me. Never had an issue. But it is also a subjective thing. Who knows? Maybe it would work for you. Maybe it could give you problems. I have no idea. Like, I, I'm saying this to all of you who are watching this now who want fixes for these controller issues. Because uh, making your Xbox 360 controller... And no, by the way, I've seen all the comments about people asking about PlayStation controllers. No, I do not have a PlayStation 3, 4, or 5 controller. I don't know anything about using PlayStation controllers, so I can't help you with that. If you're looking for a tutorial on a PlayStation controller, I'd recommend going to find another video. This is specifically for Xbox 360 controllers. Xbox One works too, because I believe I, I tried an Xbox One controller at one point, and it worked just fine. Anyway, this was a small tutorial. I will link everything in the description. Make, you, you know you got to go find the bios and everything on your own, though. Which isn't difficult to find. Just find a video on YouTube or look up PlayStation 2 emulator bios. Definitely not difficult, but I'll be linking the automated builds 
in the description for everybody to uh, check out. So make sure to go check that out. And um, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Hope this assisted you in any way. And I'll see you all in the next video.